News Penguin Fishing Attack Targets Maritime and Military Secrets Welcome back to another video from TuxCare, where we give you the latest news on Linux security. According to BlackBerry researchers, a new phishing campaign dubbed News Penguin has been targeting Pakistan's military-industrial complex for months. It uses an advanced malware tool to steal sensitive information. The campaign, which is believed to be state-sponsored, has been running since at least December of 2022. The attacker sent out targeted phishing emails with a weaponized document attached that purports to be an exhibitor manual for PIMEC-23. PIMEC, which stands for Pakistan International Maritime Expo and Conference, is a Pakistan Navy initiative organized by the Ministry of Maritime Affairs. The campaign appeared to be more concerned with gathering intelligence and exfiltrating information than with causing immediate harm to the victims. The campaign employs sophisticated tool sets designed to avoid detection by traditional security measures. The malware and remote access trojans in the tool set were used to gain access to victim systems and to steal sensitive data. News Penguin's various techniques for evading detection such as using encrypted payloads and dynamically generating domains for command and control communication. The attackers used malware from the Zodiac family, which is known for its ability to avoid detection by antivirus software. In addition, the attackers used IceLog, a keylogger used to steal sensitive information, and GhostRat, a remote access tool that allowed the attackers to take control of the victim system. The attackers are also employing Glacier malware, which is designed to avoid detection by traditional antivirus solutions. While BlackBerry researchers believe News Penguin is using a new malware strain known as PenguSpy. This malware is designed to avoid detection and gather intelligence from infected systems, including password theft and screenshot capture. The malicious payload server is designed to only return the file if the user's IP address is within the Pakistan IP range. When the victim clicks Enable Content, a VBA macro code is executed. The script then determines whether the infected machine is running Windows 7 or 10 and saves the version as a job name for the next instruction. If you want to learn more about this story, be sure to check out the link in the description. And for more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe.